Hello viewers, I am Fabil. My name is Vectresh. Today we are going to perform Blaine's air permeability test. But before proceeding, let's recall the development of strength of cement depends upon its reaction with water. If I know the cement, the greater will be the specific surface area. This will greater specific surface area which result in greater contact with water and greater reaction. And this reaction will result into strength development. There are two methods to find the fineness of cement. One is by IS code method and which is by sieving through 90 micron IS sieve and second method is by Blaine's air permeability apparatus. The most scientific and accurate method to find the fineness of cement is by Blaine's air permeability apparatus. Let's find out the various parts of Blaine's apparatus which consists of a permeability cell which has 12 mm diameter and 50 mm height which is provided with a plunger on top. The cell has a conical portion which is used to connect it with a U-tube manometer. The junction of cylindrical and conical portion we have to put a perforated disc with have 1 mm perforation and 40 wattman filter paper. And the other part is a U-tube manometer. The U-tube manometer has two limbs. One limb is provided with a stopcock and a pressure bulb. This is used to create differential air pressure between these two limbs and the other limb is open to atmosphere. After explain the various parts of plane's apparatus, let's perform the experiment. To start the experiment, the first step is oil the interior of the permeability cell like this. And then the perforated metal disc. This is the perforated metal disc and its, its position and lower it down with the help of metal rod. So it is rest on the ledge position. Then, then take the filter paper and, and place it top and then lower it down. Yeah, it is used to cover the perforated disc. The calculated weight of cement is 3.20. We are already placed perforated disc and filter paper in this cell. And this is the weighted sample. Now it is placed into the permeability cell. And this is the plunger. With the help of this, the cement in this we can compress. And this is the collar of plunger and it must be touches with the permeability cell. Now, this is the manometer we already discussed about this. And this entire equipment we connected with YouTube manometer with the help of rubber. And this is the rubber bulb. By using this, you can adjust the level of this oil from here to here. After connecting the permeability cell with the manometer, you must remove the plunger and this one. First of all, I remove this plunger. And then I remove this one. After removing this, the level is lower down. You must aware of taking the readings from this point to this point. Now I am and this top cup also closed one. Okay. Now I remove this one. Now I started readings. Yes, this is the reading of time we are taking. 
for determining the specific surface area of cement we shall use the equation S is equal to K rho T where K is the plane constant and T is the time of in seconds we record the time as 29 seconds and the K value for the specific apparatus is 523.0547 by putting the value of T in the equation we obtain the specific surface area as 2817 cm2 per gram. Minimum of 3 observations has to be taken to find out the average specific surface area. Blaine's air permeability test is important since it gives an idea about the smaller gain particles which plays an important role in the hydration of cement and subsequent strength development. Thank you.